matron take them away. Okay, morning guys. Um, just had a great call with the guys and I just want to put something out there. I'm going to do a trade. I'm just literally dropping in an order as we speak and I'll flick the screen on and I'll show you. Let me see. Yeah. I think that should be about triggered now. Well, coming in close to it, let me flick this on just so that I can show you. Order's placed. There we go. It's opened up. Right. Let me just quickly explain what it is that I'm doing. And then I'll be able to wander off and enjoy my day. Now, for those of you um, who follow me, you'll know that I'm actually on holiday this week. And that's why it's a little bit echoey and I'm looking a little bit tanned, obviously. So, let's move that up to there. Good stuff. Happy, happy days. Happy days. Okay. Let me break this one down for you. And let me understand. Now, for those of you that are new to the channel, I am Big Scruff. I do everything in the moment. Nothing is scripted. It's just me, the charts, normally a cup of coffee, which Winky hasn't made me one yet. Winky. And Winky, the love of my life, is giving me some in the ear going, we want to go out. I want to go out. I want to go out. We have to go get breakfast. We have to go get breakfast. Did you just eat most of the coffee? I did. I we did. have to go up to get a coffee. <laughs> no, we don't. There's a kettle over there. I know, but it hasn't got nice milk. It's that cream. <laughs> Awesome. I've got to live with it. Right. What are we doing? Look out at your dailies first, guys. Right. What can we see here? Just move this fib and I'll start to show you back in. We've come down into key levels. Now, each one of these is a key solid level. And it has just bounced off this one here. You can see that there moving back up now that is a strong drive in the face of an upward move now why was it an upward move well it's starting to retrace against this move now as most things markets move up and down we can see that okay so if i take a fib and we have a little look to see where this is you can see it's moved from there to there Okay, it's come up to the 38 and we know on a retracement it'll try and get the 50. Well, there's the 50, so that's the upper target. But we are way, way, way down here. Okay, miles away. So what we're looking at now is the 23. That's our first point of call. Back up. So that's a daily outlook. Now, does that make much relevance to what's going on here? not really but what it can do for me is give me a form of bias so the upper bias is roughly to the upper side so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to drop it into four hours and i'm going to zoom in ever so slightly now what i can see get rid of these blocks is that drive that we're looking at made up now again this level has been tested on multiple occasions recently and it's pushing away from it now this is rock solid it's now broke through this which is rock solid you know we can move that up under there that is a huge single directional candle right so what can we do now well let's start measuring this out see what's going on here now, all I'm doing at this moment in time, guys, is figuring out what the chart is trying to achieve. Right. Now, each one of these levels is very high time frame concepts. 
the dailies, the weeklies, the monthlies, I very rarely go below a daily when I'm putting levels in. And none of these levels are a four hour level. But look at this fib. From the high point to the low point, that 23 perfectly marries onto a high time frame level. The 38 marries, uh, the 50 rather, marries to a level perfectly. So I know this zone that I'm working in is the right zone. So get rid of that. Now move this down into the trade idea, which is here. And again, there's that exaggerated move. The low point that I just showed you, it's cast shot away, come back, retested that level. Any orders that were in and around this point, it's just sweeped out here. And now it's moving up. Right. So now we need some logical targets. Fib from there to there. Why is that? Well, you can see it. Start of the move, end of the move. Strong directional. Broken the 23. There's our first target. On its way to the 50, but we have a stumbling block in the middle, which is here. So if I just edge that up ever so slightly, so it's 200 quid, that's it. That's your trade. Okay. Zone to zone, perfectly marked out, simply using a fib. Now, if you come down onto a five minute chart, this will start helping you why you get in. Well, we broke the top of here. Nice and simple. And then it was just a simple candle count back. One, two, three, four, five. You want it above. It's clipped in. Let it get on with it. Now what I can do is I can also have staging points as to where I can add extra trades into this. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm just going to put some extra orders in to run up to roughly about here. And I'm just going to let the camera run. And why not? Now, when I leave the room, um, I'll have a tendency to take the key with me. And it's one of them hotel rooms that when you plug the key and it switches the electric off when you move out. So the battery might run out on the laptop. So if it does, don't panic. But I'll come back and I'll tell you what's going on. But you can see it as we are in motion. Catch you at the end. Oh, we're all going on during the holiday. No more work for a week or two. Well, hello, boys and girls. I'm back. I've had a wonderful day. As you can see, I'm burnt to a crisp. And why not? You'd think I'd learn after the amount of traveling that I've done. But no, I get out, I lie in the sunbed, I get my beer, I've maybe a few too many, and go, come on, you big beastie, do your worst. And it does. But that's life. So how is my life today on the charts? Now, this morning, it was very early when I'm trading because... Um, Obviously, the time schedules are a little bit out of whack when, you, when you're overseas to what you're used to. So that can throw you out a little bit. And also, I had the mad winker wandering around trying to get ready. So I had that and various other things. But I still stuck to the same principle of the trade. Now, the internet is kind of steam-powered. So I've got to be a little bit wary. And if you're curious as to where I'm at, I'm on the island of Sal in Cape Verde and um, just off the coast of Africa uh, so it's red hot and there's nothing here um, in fact here's a picture of where we were yesterday and it is blissful it's very quiet it's almost like we got the resort to ourselves um, simply because there's just nobody here and I can't figure out why it's a wonderful place um, yes it is early in the season but at the same time i'm not complaining you know you get in the water water's warm beer's cold life's good but how did i pay for it well that's what we're about to see 
Now, earlier on this morning, if I just take this fib off, you would have seen that I was working in this range, okay? And it had gone up, it had come down, it had gone up, and it had come down. Now, when we're looking at charts, your bias isn't quite as important as you think it is. Your conviction's more important. And this chart kind of illustrates that. Because if you're a, basically going long, you're a long set, long buy, there's your long trade. If you're going to be a short seller, there is your sell trade. And likewise, on the way up, long, short, long, short, long, short. Where it becomes a problem is when you're trying to do this on low time frames. So if you take your idea from the one hour, the one hour can show you the way. It can give you good opportunities every day based on one thing. And that's your levels, guys. You get these levels right, the rest of it's a walk in the park because all you're doing is working in an arena. Now, my arena, as you've seen, was down here today. I explained what it is I was looking at and why I was going to. And sure enough, if we pull this up into the middle, you can see that's pushed up. It's found its level. And as with most things, it'll test and it'll run away. So sort of soak up orders that were left behind. You've got people on opposing positions that will be taking profit and also people that have opposing ideas in other words wanting to go short because they may believe that this is a continuation well if it is a continuation to the downside there has to be a collection of orders gathered by the big boys in order to push it down so where do they find that well they'll look at the last swing point which was here okay well if that's the swing point there's going to be a collection of orders in and around it and where are they most likely to be just on the other side of a key level. So what does happens? They force the price into that key level, soak the orders, and then off they go. And then it does the same thing down here. So, you know, you've got people that are thinking they're short, so they're gonna have sort of five minute candles, count a few back, and they'll force the market back up to slam it back down. It's just the nature of the game. The market moves up and down. So sometimes you can get a little bit too bogged down with what you're doing. Keep the trade as simple as possible. And that's what you saw me do. And what have we got left? Well, there's no orders running. No orders left. And there you go. You saw me set that up, forget about it. And then just let it run on. Let it do its thing. And that's it, guys. That, that's the art of trading. I try and make it as easy and as accessible as possible. And I know it's very easy to flash the cash. And I was asked that um, the other day, actually. Why don't I show my daily results across all, all of my accounts, etc.? And all right, I, I get paid well, guys. And I think most of you know me, know I get paid well. But I also think it's quite crass to do it. You know, um, it kind of puts you in the firing line of, oh, look at me. So people will take a pop at that. But at the end of the day, does it actually help you? No, it doesn't. And so I prefer to focus on the process, which I believe will help you. I genuinely believe that. If I focus heavily on the process rather than the money, to me, that is the best inspiration. If I just show you my salary of sort of 10 and 12 grand a month, how does that help you? Um, it certainly wouldn't help me if I was starting out, you know, it really wouldn't. But don't get me wrong, I celebrate success. I genuinely do, I always have. When I was in business, I was never worried about somebody better than me. It was always an aspiration, but I never wanted to know what they did. I wanted to know how they did. Hope that makes sense. Process. That is king. 
So always be looking for that. So when you see Flash Harry in his Lamborghini or he's rented Airbnb by the coast or, or he's sipping pina coladas by the pool saying this, that and the other, always take it with a pinch of salt unless you actually know the person pers purposely, uh, personally rather. Because um, a lot of the time it's just a sales hook. And talking of sales hooks, we were discussing this in the morning call this morning about win rates and one thing and another. Um, my feeling on win, win rates is very simple. If you're less than 50%, you're not trading yet. So you don't want to be putting a lot of money into the market. You're still in your learning phase. And how do I know that? Because you're not reading the markets. If you're reading the markets and you're doing the job correct, you should be better than 50%. Otherwise, you might as well just flick a coin. At least then you've got a one in two chance. So these are the little things that you need to think about. Process first. And your process starts and ends with levels. So I hope that helps. Uh, I'll be back to normal next week. I will put a couple of little experiments together based on what you guys say in the comments. And do comment and subscribe, etc. Genuinely helps me. And more importantly, it motivates me to help you. Now, in the comments, if you ask a question, I'll bring it up in the live screams that I do. The next one will be first Sunday in April, I think. Actually, I'll check that. When is the next one? Because you might be seeing this in the future, so that might mean anything. Um, what's the date today? It's the 23rd. So we're back. Yeah, be the first, first Sunday of April. Um, It'll be the next one but keep an eye on the community tab of youtube um, and you'll see it's posted in there and again drop your comments in i always talk to you and if you do want to chat drop in the description you find all of my contact details and they're in the comics as well so as always guys trade well keep the risk managed but above all do what you love and the money will follow see you all in the next one